It's a new year and a lot of people are vowing to become more active. Ryan Rumba joins us live from a unique gym in Columbia to show us a fun activity for the whole family. Ryan? Yes, good morning guys. We're at the Bouldering Garden in Columbia and this gym is so cool. This isn't your ordinary gym. We've been super active this week so I'm excited for today. I'm here this morning with Marcus. He's the owner. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having us this morning. I know Definitely. it's not your typical hour of climbing, but <laughs> but we're here this morning. And tell me a little bit about what the bouldering garden is, what it means. Uh, bouldering. Bouldering is when you're climbing without ropes. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's a free form of climbing that keeps you from having to worry about the ropes and tie into the knots and do I have it all right and mm -hmm. wearing a harness. So. When you're bouldering, you're climbing, um, it's kind of like lifting weights, you're, you're climbing without... Um, uh, Being harnessed and... Yeah. Right, yeah, whenever you're, when you're lifting weights, um, you could be on a machine mm -hmm. or you have free weights. Okay, so, so this is like your free weights. This is the free weights <laughs> of, cli uh, of the climbing, yes. Well, this gym is definitely cool, so I'm not going to be harnessed in, right? Not today. <laughs> not no. today. So a little nervous about that, but you have classes and things like that that go on here. Explain those a little bit. Um, <clears throat> the evening classes are really free, uh, easy access. Mm -hmm. You don't have to give us a call and get a reservation. Uh, when you come in, we're going to go over what the rules are. It's like a playground, <laughs> uh, no rustling and biting or hitting. Um, and we start you out with uh, some easy tasks, staying on big holds, and then work you through different ways to use the facility. Okay, well, I'm going to do the beginner beginner section here. So explain to me what I'm going to do first. Lots um, of different kinds we're not, of routes. We're routes really here. not going to worry about following any specific routes. I okay. Mean, our objective is to get from the right side of the wall over to the left. Okay, so we're moving this way. Yep. Okay, cool. Traversing. So I'm gonna jump up. Now I got some special shoes on here. Tell me about those. Does everybody have to wear these? And hopefully, yes. <laughs> hopefully not too tight. Actually, you can come in with your regular workout shoes um, and start warming up. But as okay. your workout develops, you'll want to uh, have a little more precision with your feet okay. on smaller holds. Now, do people go all the way up to the ceiling here? Um, the holds stop before the ceiling. Okay. We like to... The objective isn't to get to the top of a thousand foot cliff. Right. And now you said you work with people and you don't always do it inside. You guys try to go outside a little bit too. Tell me about that. As much as possible. Yeah. Uh, the, the world of climbing outside is just limitless. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of fun places to see, things that people normally wouldn't go and even know is there. It's right around the corner, yeah. next to the creek, something like that. Well, so. cool. Starting inside, bringing it outside into nature, that's really cool. Right. When we come back, we're going to do some different kinds of climbing. It's not just rock climbing here, but for now, we'll set it back to you guys. Okay, looks like yeah. fun. Coming up, I am at the Bouldering Garden this morning, and it is a rock climbing gym. And I don't know, Stephen, if you could zoom out really quick and just let them know what I'm on right now. I'm standing on a tightrope right now, or what would you call it, Marcus? A slack line. A slack line. And I'm, my heart is going 100 miles an hour. So <laughs> you're going to help me a little bit, and then you're going to show us how it's done. So give me some tips. Okay. And I'm going to look like noodle legs right now, because this is One not easy. One of the easy. toughest things after traversing and warming up with your climb, oh. you're going to try to get across the snake pit <laughs> quicksand. You want to oh keep your gosh. feet under you on top of the line, centered on the line. It's kind of like a balance beam. Yeah, but smaller. <laughs> but you don't want to look at your feet. That's the trick. Yeah, that's not easy. Yeah. See keep how I'm shaking? I'm not even moving. Bent. Yeah. There you go. Okay. Fine. This is better than I was doing before. Little magic of live TV to give me some pressure. I'm gonna hop off. Oh, nice. That is exhausting. That is not easy. Even though we're just walking, it's really hard. Tell me about, you know, when your classes come in and you get people jumping up here all the time. Um, you know, ev not everyone wants to try it, but it's a, while it's a challenge, with a spotter on either side, it can uh -huh. be a little easier to start to break into. I couldn't imagine doing that by myself. <laughs> it's no a, way. It works out the core. Oh, yeah. I'm like, and, and it's tons of fun. Yeah, yeah, it is pretty fun. You know, now I can say I climbed on a <laughs> slack line. Now you show us how it's done. We saw you doing it a little bit earlier on our little tee shot there, but well, you can hop up here like it's... You, it's can, you can climb up onto the line or find your center of balance and press with your leg and push uh -huh. up. I tried doing that. That was really hard. <laughs> it's not easy getting up there. You have to so. find the balance. 
Look at you on one foot. And then decide, are you gonna, are you gonna walk on the line? Are you gonna try to bend down and Are you gonna juggle? Sit, no. <laughs> sit on, right, juggle on the line. Um, but finding, using a slack line allows you to work your core, find your balance, and ultimately it's gonna help you with other types of activities. Yeah. Um, climbing is based around balance. Yeah, mostly. you said it. So <laughs> that's the objective with the slack line is really force you to, to find that center of gravity. Yeah, and that's something that you don't realize how hard it is until you actually try it. I mean... It, it took me a while to, yeah. to really get used to it, but some people, uh, three or four times, they're just naturals. Okay, well, great. When we come back, we're going to explore this place a little more, maybe do some different kinds of climbing, but for now, we'll send it back to you guys. I'm going to stay on the floor for now. Okay. <laughs> She's staying grounded. Yeah, Johnny Cash could do that. <laughs> well, he sang uh, about walking a lot. Well, it might not be Wellness Wednesday, but today we're talking about an alternative way to get you moving. Ryan Rumba is going to New Heights, you could say, at a unique gym in Columbia this morning. Ryan? Yes, good morning, guys. I think after all my segments this week, I think I'm going to call it Wellness Week because we've been moving all week. This morning, I'm at the Bouldering Garden. It's in Columbia, and I'm here with the owner, Marcus. Good morning. Good morning. Now, this morning, we've been climbing all over the place, no harnesses. Right now, I'm in a harness. How come? Uh, this is a tread wall. Okay. And so there's a small rope that's attached to you that determines your height. Mm -hmm. The higher you step, with each step, the wall turns. So it's kind of like a vertical treadmill. Yeah, pretty cool. So you can climb all day on this thing. Let me give it a go. Let's see. So once I climb up, it moves. And I can keep going. Oh. Okay, this thing is pretty cool. I recommend uh, just right off the bat coming into the gym. That's this is one way for people to warm up. Yeah. You, you don't have to have climbing shoes. 95% of people visiting the climbing gym mm -hmm. are beginners. Yeah. Um, and this is a great way to just warm up your muscles without uh, overworking any particular part of your body. And it's adjustable. It's on the easy setting right now, but before it was Overhang. all the way back. So you can, <laughs> you can almost lay down and do it too. Right, it's great for a beginner or someone that needs that bigger challenge. And we were talking before, you said, you know, a lot of people might be intimidated by big climbing gyms with huge tall walls, and you said this is not that case. Yeah, every, all of the climbs are less than 10 foot, mm -hmm. and so that allows you to the, that easy access into a facility, get your workout in. Um, we, I recommend that you climb with another partner, someone mm -hmm. that's going to push you, someone to laugh with, and, and because you're going to slip, you're going to... Yeah. It, it you're going to be a, shaky yeah, on the... It's just, I'm a slack I'm line a like slack me. Line. <laughs> um, so. so how can people get more information if they do want to come and check it out? Uh, I do have a full website. Um, it changes often. Mm -hmm. There's, uh, we're located out at Lake of the Woods exit in Columbia. Okay, so uh, right off 70. Right, it's easy, easy access. It's not too hard to find. Um, the Bouldering Garden is www.theboulderinggarden.com. Okay, and just drop in and say hi and climb around for a little bit. Thank you for having us this morning. Oh, you're very welcome. And we'll send it back to you guys, and I'm going to hop back up here for now. <laughs> Work it out. So we'll send it back to you guys. I don't think she's going to get very far, though. You don't think? No, the wall's just going to keep coming down on her. <laughs> Coming up.